we want to multiply the given binomials. These products are special products because the binomials are conjugates, where conjugates are in the form of a plus b and a minus b. So notice how the two binomials are the same except one is a sum and one is a difference. And therefore, there is a shortcut for determining this product. However, we will first find the product like we normally do, and then we'll take a look at the shortcut. To multiply two binomials using repeated distribution, we distribute each term in the first binomial into the second binomial, which means for this first product, we distribute 5x into the second binomial, and then we distribute 2 sevenths into the second binomial. So let's go ahead and multiply. First we have 5x times 5x, and then we have plus 5x times negative 2 sevenths, and then plus we distribute 2 sevenths, which gives us 2 sevenths times 5x. And then finally we have plus 2 sevenths times negative 2 sevenths. And now to determine the products, 5x times 5x is 25x squared. And then we have plus 5x times negative 2 sevenths. Let's first focus on 5 times negative 2 sevenths or if we want five over one times negative two sevenths, which is negative ten sevenths, and therefore here we have plus negative ten sevenths x, which is equivalent to minus ten sevenths x. And then we have plus two sevenths times five x, which is positive ten sevenths x, which gives us plus ten sevenths x. And then we have plus negative four forty ninths, which is equivalent to minus 4 49ths. And now we combine like terms, but when multiplying conjugates, the like terms will be opposites. Notice here, we have negative 10 sevenths x plus 10 sevenths x, which is equal to zero, and therefore the product is just 25 x squared minus 4 49ths. But because we do have conjugates, let's also find the product using the shortcut. Looking at the formula below, the quantity a plus b times the quantity a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. Where in our case, a is equal to five x and b is equal to two sevenths. And therefore the shortcut for determining the product, again because we have conjugates, is the square of five x minus the square of two sevenths which is equal to 25 x squared minus four forty ninths which of course we found multiplying like we normally do. Let's take a look at a second example. Again, let's first multiply like we normally do. So we distribute two x, and then we distribute negative three fourths. Multiplying, we have two x times two x, and then plus two x times three fourths, and then plus negative three fourths times two x, and then plus negative three-fourths times positive three-fourths. And now we multiply. Two x times two x is four x squared. Let's simplify here before multiplying. Let's write two as a fraction with the denominator of one. Notice two and four share a common factor of two. Two divided by two simplifies to one. Four divided by two simplifies to two. We now just have plus x times three halves which gives us plus three halves x. And then for the next product again, we can write two as a fraction with the denominator of one. Simplifying out the common factor of two, two divided by two simplifies to one, four divided by two simplifies to two. We have plus negative three halves x, which is equivalent to minus three halves x. And then we have plus negative nine sixteenths, which is equivalent to minus nine sixteenths. Combining like terms, again notice how the x terms are opposites. Three halves x minus three halves x is zero. The simplified product is four x squared minus nine sixteenths. Or again, using the shortcut formula for multiplying conjugates, where again we have conjugates because the binomials are the same except one is a sum and one is a difference. 
for the formula, a is 2x and b is 3 fourths, and therefore the shortcut to determine the product is a squared minus b squared, which is the square of 2x minus the square of 3 fourths, which does give us 4x squared minus 9 sixteenths. I hope you found this helpful.